Hello everyone, my name is Murat. I hope you can understand me easily. Today I am starting to shoot videos in English for the first time. We will develop a project with uh, using the Enlayer Architecture model in ASP.NET Core. Let's look at our template first. I added the theme file to the description section of the video. You can download it from there. Our template is an HTML template that keeps the price information of vegetables and fruits in a market. Our aim is to make the products categories, product details about a section, contact section and social media section work dynamically using an layer architecture model in ASP.NET Core. Our project will have a showcase part and an admin part. We will use empty framework as the ORM, uh, so object relational mapping tool while developing. We will uh, use code first as the database approach. Now let's look at our team. This is our team. First um, of all, a slider area welcomes us on the home page. There are two slider images here. This is first and this is uh, second. You can increase this slider area with images. And there is a small about us area a little further down and there is a feature area right below. The feature field may contain some information about the operation of the system and uh, then comes the products part. This section will include some of the products, not all products. Some products is here, uh, are here. So uh, a value-like featured products can be used. We can add an extra property when creating our entity related to products. This property can hold information about whether the product is featured product or not featured. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there are not all products. We will uh, discuss the details about our products again when creating our product entity. If we click uh, on the Browse More Products button, a page where we can see all products will open. Let's continue. There is uh, also a small explanation in the Visit Our Farm section. Here we can proceed statically without creating an extra clause or table. Uh, this is customer review. Um, this is the area where customers comments about us are located customers names. This is customers names, surnames, uh, titles, photographs and comments will be included as slider was uh, used here too. This is slider. latest block area there are uh, blocks at the end but uh, we will not use blocks we can remove this part our goal is uh, not to develop a block application but to develop an application that lists the products their price and uh, images using asp.net core and uh, at the end there is a sitemap we will keep the information in this section dynamically in the database and enable transactions to be made via the admin panel. For example, this is uh, can be dynamically, for example, this is. Let's go up again. When we click on the menus, it directs us to some pages. Home page, about us, products, uh, block grid page, our feature or uh, customer review. Uh, excuse me, this is our feature. Uh, testimonial or customer review page. And 404 error page. And finally, the contact page. So we are ready to create our project. Let's start. Visual Studio opening
I will use uh, Visual Studio 2022 version while developing. You can also use this uh, version. If, if your options for creating a new project include the option of developing with .NET Core 6, uh, this will be sufficient. There is no big difference between the versions. There are only minor configuration differences. Uh, so if you want, you can develop it with uh, 6, 7, 8 or a more current version that will be released in the feature. Let's open the new project option from the file section. File, new project. Instead of creating a project directly, let's create an ant solution and, uh, and add our projects class libraries or layers to this empty solution. This is a uh, right blank solution in the search for template section blank okay this is blank solution choose blank solution we need to enter a name in the solution name section here we can give the name of the team file we will use in our project what was our team name this is foodie okay foodie and click the create button okay we opened our project as uh, an empty solution. There is nothing. There is nothing uh, in it right now, since uh, we will use an an layer architecture. We need to create our layers first. Before creating layers, let's talk about layers one by one. But before that, it would be useful to talk a little about one what an layer architecture is uh, and why it is used this video is enough uh, i hope you can understand me easily thank you for watching this uh, video see you next second lesson have a good day